and hello everyone, welcome back to more The Legend of Fears Trails of Gold Steel 4. And I am Bogmod, and I've been, I was thinking actually, I had two thoughts that I want to address before we continue. And first of all, was that last little blurb with uh, the little, little uh, joining up with Let's go. Um, Muse. I wasn't, as I'm sure you may have heard, I, I, I had some criticisms. But let it never be said that my criticisms uh, aren't without trying to provide a way they could have gone differently. And I was just thinking how I could have done this, how I well, would have maybe come across just as, you know, achieving the same goals, um, but doing a little, maybe a little better. Mm -hmm. So, um, oh. rather than have... Um, the main thing is, rather than have Muse being all like, my, I have a secret, my heart doesn't want to do my plan that my brain knows about, so I'm I, I, I'm set up this meeting on the hopes that you will all secretly figure me out and, and, and join up and do all that sort of stuff, right? I would okay. instead have her... So, she shows up, she does her little speech, she explains her plan, right? And then she turns to Aurelia, and she's like, and now I'm going with them. And Aurelia is shocked. She's like, what? What? Like, yeah, even if I die, uh, the plan will still go forward at this point, and I want to find Reen. Right? It achieves both her. She can still do her alt. She can still have all of her scheming. Uh, it's still that surprising bit of impetuousness to her. Um, it doesn't have the complication of them all being like, "Hey, wait a minute! If you had such a cunning plan." Well, then why did you join up with us, huh? Mm -hmm. She could just be like, no, no, no. That was, that was all part of my plan, too. And just like this, also part of my plan. Um, Let's go. Building on that, Cedric could then show up and pull it. When he shows up, right? She could because, you know, they want to kind of play into her being such this, this all, this, this powerful schemer. She could just be all like, ah! You finally made it. You finally finished collecting the clues I left for you. Right? Because okay. then, like that one clue that they left, where they found out the message at the random uh, distillery, what if she had left clues all over? Right? Um, intentionally, not only, just, not only to make sure that Class 7 found the meeting place, but so that Cedric and his goons did too. Right? This is, of course... Right? So Cedric okay. shows up with his goons. She's expecting it. Right? She's like, aha! And now, Class 7, right? Because she's rejoined Class 7 all triumphant light. Kick your butt. There's like a show of force and determination and all that. They do their thing. Then he's like, well, I have a robot. And she's like, well, we've got robots too. Then he's like, yeah, but I've got more robots. And he's like, yeah, but I have a giant battleship. All right? Let's go. So you could still you could still have her displaying her manipulative side, her predictive side. Um, you could have just had her go. You know what? I, I set her like I set everything up that I could, and now that I've done that, I can I can put aside that and focus on this other thing, which you know would have would have worked great. I think um, it still would have achieved all the points. I think. You know, she would have had a happy, okay. you know, guys, I'm back with you moment. Right? Still got to show off her plotting prowess. Right? Uh, I think that would have played out. You, you, you could have hit all the same notes without having her be this, have this moment of um, needless vulnerability so they could go, French! <laughs> um, okay. Because, yeah, it, it, it didn't seem necessary at all to me. Um, if anything, it seemed kind of productive. Because, again, like, if you if you have someone show up and they're like, Aha! I know more than you, and I can predict better than you, and I have plans within plans that you have no conception of. Um, it rings hollow and they're like, Yeah, but what about this thing? And they just, she can't stand okay. around and just go, Seriously? What part of I know more and have plans that you have no conception of, don't you understand? 
if you don't know everything, you can't criticize- If you don't know as much or more than me, how could you possibly criticize what is the correct course of action for my plans? Let's right? Let's go. Anyway, we wouldn't have had that complication. You could still have the friendship moment. Except it would be Musée triumphantly rejoining them. Um, which, let's be honest, given Musée's style, her kind of forcing herself back into the group, very fitting. Um, still had the fight with Cedric. Alright, so the, the, the one-upsmanship could have played into that a little more, have her showing off her, her, her okay. predictive acumen a bit more. Uh, anyways, that's the first thing. The second thing I wanted to talk about, right? Remember we were t we've been talking about what the what is the curse? What if, hear me out, what if Reen has the curse now? Right? Because, I mean, think about this. He's, he's been in okay. rage mode for a while now. Maybe, maybe the curse is in him. We could, because, you know, that there could be like, we've, we've kind of done weird battles in the mind before. Um, so maybe we'll have to, we'll have to go inside Reen's okay. soul. Um, which kind of, which would kind of be like, a little bit like how we, uh, how things played out in um, Trails in the Sky 3. Not inconceivable there. Also, it could set up a, like a dilemma, right? Where Reen's all like, No, you don't understand. I'm the source of the curse. You must kill me to free the world. And they're like, No, we can't kill you, Reen. We love you. And there could be drama, right? That could, you know, that's not unreasonable. Let's go. Um, so yeah, some, uh, maybe he's, maybe he's why there's a curse right now. Hmm. Because, I mean, he did do the stabbing. So maybe the curse is, like, from him now. Yeah? Maybe? Hmm? That one I have far less support, um, for my theory on. Uh, than my thinking that, uh, I would have, I would have done okay. Musée's bit a little, a little differently. Anyhow, let's... Let's go chat. Hi, Roselia. Grandmother, you're going to eat your vegetables. You are going to like it. You are an adult. And thus, you, we must treat you as a child. And you... The, here's the thing, Emma. Adults get to eat what they want. Yeah, what's wrong with me? What, uh, what I do or don't like. I've eaten vegetables for the last eight centuries, and I've gotten by just fine. Second, the Nunyavid is very respectful of the people who grew and prepared them. I, I'm gonna... Uh, Emma, I gotta, I, gotta, uh, I gotta disagree with you slightly here. She hasn't eaten a vegetable for 800 years. This is like showing up at a house and you're like, I know you're all vegetarians, but I cooked a chicken. And then you'd be... Then Emma would be like... Vegetarians, it would be disrespectful for you not to eat the chicken that the person who knew that you were vegetarians cooked for you. Emma uh, said, "Helps recover." All right. So, of those, I will give you the third point, Emma. So we're conjecturing your part. Is it? Okay. Well, then I take back. Emma, you have no grounding in this one. Grandmother. Well, I don't know. If we've seen if this has happened before, that means that each time it's happened before, uh, Rose got away with not. And speaking of decorum, talking like that to your elders, Emma, is also not very respectful. So complaining? Why will neither of them listen to me? I don't know. You're a grown woman. You don't have to eat your vegetables if you don't want to. She's not a child, Emma. She can make her choice of this. You aren't her keeper. Did you wear glasses? Are you wearing contacts or something? I one of these was to suppress my magical powers. Interesting. Mm. 
<laughs> and of course, everyone's like, you're beautiful. Don't ruin it, Ash. Oh, and he's not here. Oh, good. Oh, that's great. Ash won't be able to make inappropriate comments to Emma. Sorry, Emma. I'm on... Um, I'm on Grandma's side there. Sorry. She's a grown woman. She's 800 years old. If she doesn't want to eat her damn vegetables anymore, she doesn't have to. I'll talk to you later. Check out the inn. Maybe there's new meals. I'm gonna be around the outside world, but fate ended up bringing me here to Erin. Alright. Check out the battle of Quickie for Rose. With how pink she is, I never get the chance to ring off my culinary skills. Dash to the door before I can blink like a woman on a mission. Well, perhaps, Lise, uh, Lise, you should consider what what she wanted to eat. She wanted to last life early in her career, trying to save some folks she just met. Aww. Nope, I'm, I'm still sitting on Rose's side in here. Uh, you know, I can appreciate the whole thing about um, you being like, oh, I wish I could show up my skills more. But, um, no, you're not giving any thought to what the person who's going to eat your food wants. A ruby omelet. Enchantingly delicious. Oh, we already talked to Thompson. Usus and guys, alright. Your art guys. Mm -hmm. You have the cavalry. Alright. Claire's the same as ever. Lindy had oh. Can't get in touch with Lindy. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna lose her out there summer too if only we do well. Mm -hmm. I could either see it myself. Yeah, your your school stuff got kind of interrupted, didn't it, Yuna? You'd have all those same kind of connections too. Ladies, bracer ladies. Thank you for training. Pan oh, this is too bad, Sarah. Bride is important even when you're on a break. So today is training first, beer later. Ooh, Vantage Masters. We will crush you, V. Post drink, drink drinks are always the best. Ron and Kurt are doing outside village training. All right, let's do this, V. Just be be prepared for when I crush you. Begin combat. Ooh. 
acceptable. First of all, let's drop the medic on you. Then let's have you grab the power up. Snipe that. All right, I've got two. Uh, archers and my ranger out. I'm pretty confident I can utterly wreck feet. Look at that! My board compared to Fee's board. Fee, you're gonna be destroyed. Doesn't matter. It don't matter. You're doomed, Fee. I'm gonna give you the archery death right now. One. Two. A three. You got me. Three blaze cards. Utterly ruined. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can. Are you going to put on a performance? Otherwise, I'll lose my touch before I know it. Play your friends with the club soon. Oh, yeah, I like. I'm sure Mint's gonna be okay. Hello, Yuna. Where are my family and friends back in Crossbell? Hmm. I want to learn as much as they can about the outside world. They're still young. See, so maybe if you have time, you could talk to them a little bit. All right. I can totally do that. I will do this. If I want to be friends along, all right. Uh, Kurt or Muse seem the most ideal. You know, we just we just got Muse back on the team. Let's invite her along.
just gonna do with honor. To the outside world. Pay attention! Or I'll put you I'll turn you into frogs. I'm here for you. Just be yourself. Erebonian sport ball. The new sport is, of course, the tennis ball. Two or one on one. Okay. Try that. Yay, the sport ball. Pretty fun. My hometown is Cross Belt and East of Erebonia. Well, come on, Juna. It's not East of Erebonia. It's in Eastern Erebonia now. <laughs> Your country was conquered. Uh, you can see us from there. Yep. Uh, Michelin Wonderland. Someone just call it Will for short, though. It's Mishi lives there, too. Yeah, mascot. Oh, uh, yes, Mishi's little sister. Her name? <laughs> no. No. Though I kind of like... Evil Mishi, probably have a mustache. Michette. Very responsible, but she still loves to play, just like Mishi. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll go back crossbow soon. Yeah, make sure they're all, they'll all be okay. Gotta teach a class. Summer festival held every year. Mm, yes. Yeah. No surprise the the kids know about animism. Mm -hmm. That summer festival was held in June around the country. Found some stalls. Mm. There's a good reason for it. Uh, it's. Yeah, it's the world of the lions, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there was, uh, there was a war of the lions, and there was uh, an evil uh, dragon that lived in the city. Mm -hmm. Mishu shows, purebred shows. Ah, the bread contest. I remember that. City called Ordis in the province of Amar. Yeah, it is a tr it is a trade port city. It is missing a uh, a lighthouse though these days. The port city. Whoa, lots of cool places in the world. Yeah, everything went pretty good. Tells about the Ashen Chevalier. Yes, tell us about Rain. Uh, <laughs> uh, how do I want to describe this? I mean, all three are very true. Uh, I feel like you would go with one of these two. And you know what? Sorry, Reen. Um, apparently Yuna is being a little bit like this today. Kind of clueless. Common courtesies. He, he totally wouldn't get when you were trying to flirt with him. Always so open and natural with everyone. That was part of his charm. Yeah, I've got to get him back. Mm. 
Thank you. Nice work out there, Instructor Yuna. Alright, that went pretty good. It's a good way to know appreciation for matters most. Alright. Oh, that's bad. If you increase by two, we got the special bonus. Lunch. Mm -hmm. Alright, we'll take our break here as well. Thank you all for watching everyone, and we'll see you all in a bit. <laughs>